Hey, this is YBR back with a Jalopy. So let's go ahead and find Uncle. But first, I gotta figure out Uncle, are you in here? Uncle, you're not in there? Uncle, are you in here? Uncle, I can't find you. Which room are you hiding in? You have to still be in the hotel. If you would have left the hotel, you would have told me, right? Uncle, 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 where are you? Oh man, are these people actually gonna give me money? Oh well, it was worth a shot, but nobody's gonna pay me. So let's just go ahead and head out of here. And we'll find Uncle and maybe we'll replace the tires on this thing. I was debating about it last time. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and fix up the tires on this thing because they are in a miserable state. Uncle, get in the car while I jack it up. I have no idea why, but just get in the car while I jack it up. And I can't actually get the jack because there's too much stuff surrounding it. So let's go sell the stuff first then. Wasn't exactly part of the plan, but we'll do that instead. I don't know how to drive, Uncle. You don't need to tell me twice. Check this out. Uh, uh, there we go. I don't know how to choose a location. Ow. Oof. Oof. I call it. I said oof before you, uncle. In your face. I am now the oof master. You are my apprentice. Oh, he just oofed. All right, you're the master again. And stop. Perfect. So let's go ahead and sell all that junk in the trunk. And then we're going to be able to replace the tires. And things will go a lot better. Oh, not the tire. I had it on the stupid textiles that are worth like three cents a piece. For how much I complain about them, I really don't know why I keep picking them up. I have absolutely no good reason. I think I'm just a hoarder. No, I don't want the wheel. I want the textiles. Stop trying to make me grab the wheel. That is later. All right, so it looks like we're only going to have one box of textiles. I felt like we grabbed so many, I was going to need many, many boxes for all of my textiles. That's not going to be the case after all. We'll just need one box for all the textiles. And then we can sell the sausage as well. So we'll run into there and sell that. And then we'll also buy any of the toolkits that they got. So let's grab my wallet as well. Uncle, open the door. Don't tell me to put my back into it. You know what? I got a better idea. Uncle, I'm going to just hop in the car real quickly. And we'll open it from the inside. Haha, -ha, I'm a genius. <laughs> that was like the stupidest thing ever, but it worked. I don't know why you couldn't do that, Uncle. You got no reason. You have a functional body, don't you? Oh, good. Lots of repair kits. Okay. So we're going to sell this and I'll let you listen to the beeps. I'm like running back here to try to get more beeps. It's going to take way too long. I'll just go ahead and let these ones beep without you guys didn't listen to them. So one more repair kit because we always need at least three for everything for some reason. And we'll probably come back for the tires later on, but right now I just want to replace the ones we got and fix up the engine. That way we have a car that's in a good condition before we worry about that stuff, so. I'll put all the repair kits in the trunk for now, temporarily. Hopefully they, they don't fit. So I'll just set them on the floor then. Alright, now. For the tires, I can finally reach the jack so we can go ahead and replace all these. So, close the door. Set it up. And then up the car goes. And then I have the thing to remove the tire, so let's go ahead and take this one off. Get off of there. At least I can tell which are good and which are bad really easily. Because one time I was replacing the tires and they were like pretty decent condition. And I actually struggled to tell which were bad and which were good. And the only reason I was doing this is because I was at home and the fresh tires were free. And you can't argue with free tires. That is an excellent deal. So go ahead and get this tire on and then we'll lower the jack. Uh, by clicking the handle, not the actual jack. I got a little confused right there. So I think it's better if we only take one tire at a time because that way you could hold more things at once. So like right now we got the tire iron in our hand and then the tire. We pull this tire off, our hands are full, but we don't have to set anything down in the process right here. It's all just kind of one smooth thing like that. Then we throw the junk tire on the floor. We'll probably shouldn't put it behind the car because we'll just end up running over it. So we'll put it in the pile over there. We'll grab the next tire, close the door. We'll do the same thing on this one. It's a nice little pattern we got here. So you take it off, put that one on, and then tighten it. Perfect. All right, lower the jack. Then we'll put it back in the rear of the vehicle. That's not putting it in the rear of the vehicle. There we go. Throw that on the floor. And now we can go ahead and repair the car and we'll also clean it up as well. I don't know if we actually need any fuel though because it's probably pretty full, isn't it? Yeah, 16 out of 22 liters. I don't think we need to worry about that. So let's go ahead and pick up all of my tool kits and see how much we can repair. So block is at three out of four now. Oh my goodness, the carburetor is awful. Okay, there goes one of them. I'm just going to start repairing everything that has a wrench now, basically. And we're going to run out of wrenches before this thing's actually good to go. That sucks. All right, there we go. That's it. 
The water tank is still in a bad condition. Don't care. Really just do not care. And we gotta wash it again. It's like, did I just wash this thing? Yes, but we went on the dirtiest road in the history of the world. So we need to clean it again. Okay. I'm gonna get this side first. Is that good? No, this might be a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I think that's good for this side. Wait, mud flaps a little bit of dirt on it, right? Well, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, there's some mud there. There we go. We got it. All right, go ahead and clean the sponge now. One, two, three. On to the rear of the vehicle. And that was fast. We hit one spot three times. Also grab the bucket and bring it a little bit closer this time so I don't have to backtrack so much. All right, can we clean the windshields and stuff? Good. We can clean the rear window. How about actually cleaning the windshield then? Yes, we can. Nice. We'll clean that window. We're cleaning everything. This car is going to look so pretty when I'm done. Except, you know, it's going to still have the discolored door and stuff because that's permanent. Unless I go and buy the upgrade that fixes that, which, you know, I might just do. Like, I'm really thinking about doing that. That sounds kind of appealing. Go ahead and clean off this corner. I see some dirt. Looking flawless. Oh my goodness, there's so much dirt on it. Last time I cleaned it, there was not this much dirt. Like it was a little bit dirty, but not this bad. Oh my goodness, dirt everywhere. Come on, come on. Get. I know there's dirt here. I can see it. Whatever, I'll come back later. You pesky dirt. I know you're there. Oh wait, maybe I got it? Yep, I guess I did. So we'll go ahead and grab the bucket and we'll move it to the front of the car now. And keep on sponging. I think that might be everything, actually. Let's see. We'll just kind of do a quick walk around where we tie... Oh, wait. There we go. There's a little bit on the windows that I missed. Get those ones. And as I was saying, we'll do a quick walk around where we try to click on everything we possibly can. And apparently there was still dirt over there that I couldn't see. So try that one again. Is that like a little bit of dirt? No, it's not dirt. All right. Good, 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 good. A oh, little bit of dirt here. That's three clicks. We got to clean off my sponge again. All right. Close this. Checking around. I think this car is in the best condition it's been in a long time. I don't know why this is still all messed up, but I'm just going to pretend it's not. Like, everything about it is perfect. I'm going to take this bucket and sponge with me. I don't think I can't. Just set it back there. I'll probably end up getting rid of it because it's stupid to carry it around, but it's mine now. Move the baskets out the way, and then we're going to go shopping some more. Let's set them right there. Hop into the car. How's it start up? Beautiful. I'll select the route later, Uncle. I'm busy. I'm making this the best car in the history of Jalopy. Now we're going to back out of this nice and carefully and go to the dealership. And we're going to see what things are available there. Maybe we could get a paint job. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Back it up right there. Perfect. Stop the car. Hop on out. And I can't remember if you need your wallet here. But I'm not going to grab my wallet unless I know for sure they have something I want. Because it takes a second to grab it. So what do you guys got available here? All the engine stuff I know is excellent, so I don't need to worry about that. But what about the upgrades and stuff? Like, ooh! So there's paint and decals. And tint? Wow, there's three different things I can get! And what over here? There's a bull bar. Halves the damage of crashing the car. Well, that... That I could definitely use. There's no doubt about it. I could go and get the digital dash, but then I'll have, like, no money at all. As much as I would love it, that just seems like a huge waste. Bull bars, on the other hand, that seems like a good purchase. So we'll get the bull bars, and then we'll get paint, decal, and tint. Okay. You know, I'm just going to grab these three and see what that does to the car. I haven't actually messed with any of the paint stuff or anything yet. So there goes a lot of that money I stole. Still got $200 in my pocket, though, so we're still doing good. I guess paint would go first, right? So, hmm, you know what maybe I should do? If possible, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I almost tried to use that accidentally. I want to stuff this into the car, and then I'm going to save the game, and that way if I use it and I don't like the way it gets used, like if I accidentally have to do like in a certain order and I do it wrong, I don't want to waste it. So this way I'm going to save it, and if it goes wrong, I'll just reload the save. Just going to oh, try to load the car up with the stuff. Perfect. And then... If I hit save and quit, we should be back at the hotel. And we are back in the hotel. Yes, I did cut out the main menu there because there was no real need for it. So anyways, let's go find uncle. Uncle, are you in here? No, uncle's not in here. Hello, is my uncle in there? Ah, uh, nobody's in there. Or maybe uncle is and he's not listening to me. Uncle, where are you? Ooh, thank you for the money, stranger. Yes. 
We just got ourselves 60 bucks. Awesome. It's kind of cheating because I already was in the hotel once, but I was doing stuff and I spent money, so now I need more money. So let's go ahead and get all these upgrades equipped in and we'll see if we do them in the right order or not. So good morning. So we have our journey another try today. Yes, we're going to give our journey another try today. Uncle, get in that car. All right, first thing I want to install is the bull bar. This one is the bull bar. I figured it'd be the bigger box. So let's go ahead and try to install that. All right, that looks pretty good. And it might have looked like I already had one. I did not already have one. Did I? Like, that was just to show it was installing, right? Hopefully. Otherwise, I made a mistake and wasted a lot of money. Okay, so we got a decal here. How about we do this? We'll install the decal first and see if I like it. If I like the decal, we won't do much with the paint. If I dislike it, then we'll go ahead and do something else. I could kind of like that. It's not bad. The two-toneness of the vehicle is a little bit weird, though. Like, it's too many colors, though, so. Especially, like, if you look at Uncle's door, what color is that? Yeah, it's still all ugly colored. Can we kind of make it match? Oh, we can. It works. Well, that's not matching. What if we paint this part? Oh, look at that. There we go. Okay, now we can make a match. Well, yeah, that's a match. All right. I like that. I like that. Oh, my door's different, though. All right, hold on. We're going to get my door. All right, that looks good. How do I paint? Can I paint the underside of the trunk? Yes, I can. There we go. Awesome. Can I paint the inside here? Uh, no. Not from this angle, at least. What about the rear light things right here? Can I paint these? Is that actually doing anything? I don't think that's doing anything. I guess that's like a metal piece you can't paint. Oh, wait a minute. I can't even paint this piece. Huh. Ooh, what about inside? Nope, stop. Oh, it was all going off on the ground. I want to show if I can paint inside of the engine bay right here. Make the engine bay nice and yellow, too. Yes, that looks good. That looks real good. Can I paint the headlights? Oh, I actually really like that. Yellow headlights. Okay. Paint this one too. Looking good. It's kind of hard to tell when you painted something enough and when it needs more painting. I'm, I'm kind of double clicking on things I don't think I need to. Oh, I painted the inside here too. Nice. Okay, I like that. Nice, nice, nice. So I'll keep the white roof. And then we had something else. What was that last thing again? It was the tint. So what does this say for the description here? Can be used on your, to add a pearlescent cream effect. Huh. Well, sure, let's try that out. We'll put it on the roof, maybe. I, I don't notice a difference. Right here, I can see it better. I can't tell at all what that's doing. I'm just gonna paint everything with it though. So everything is the same color. Except I don't really know how long to apply this one because I can't actually see it making any progress. Is the paint unlimited too? Because I am just spraying this all over the place and I have no idea. Like, it says zero out of zero, so I guess it's unlimited. Huh. That's convenient. Is it just me or does uncle's door look like a slightly different color? I guess it's not. Just imagining it. Maybe it's the pearlescent color doing his job, making everything look different. I don't know. I wonder, can I paint the inside of the hood? Or is that part of like the, um, I think that's probably part of the unpaintable part, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well. There's all these unpaintable parts that I want to paint, but I can't do nothing about. I guess ba basically everything has been painted here. So this car is fully upgraded. This is as nice as it's going to get. And to be honest, I quite like it. It has a very unique look to it that uh, probably nobody else has ever done and why does it look like this? Because that's the paints that were available, and I can't put the paint up there. Can I put it in here? There we go. We'll keep the paint since they seem to last forever. And we're not going to go anywhere today. We're just going to relax here and clean that guy's building because it's filthy. I actually wonder, can you clean his building? Like, it looks like the dirt you pull off your car, so I wonder if you can. That'd be funny if you could actually make money in the game by, like, doing odd jobs like this. Just let me clean your building for you. Give me a couple bucks. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. I know it's kind of weird winding it without actually traveling anywhere, but I spent a good 14 minutes upgrading this thing. I'm real happy with how it looks, and I can't get a better ending than this. So until next time, this has been YBR. Admire that car, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> I got to add this real quickly. I went and saved game and went back to the menu, and you can actually see the pearlescence now. That thing is shining. That looks so ridiculous. I love my ridiculous car, though.